something wrong with it? Absolutely not, Herb. It's just warming up. Like I hope you are to what a life changer this wonder can be. Um, I don't know. I, don't your nails get cut between the keys? Well, you've got to use your fingertips. Uh, it does take a little getting used to. Looks like a toy. Did you hear that, Bernie? I hear, Jack. This is no toy. The LC2000 is no toy. Now, I thought this was a state-of-the-art company. I thought that you were ready to do global economics and uh, Pacific rimming. That's what I thought, Jack. Mm-hmm. Sam? Yeah? Sam? Here. Take a look at this. So, uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? The LC2000 is the smallest laptop ever made. Makes me feel fat. Hey, stop it, Sam. You're robust. Oh, don't you worry about that, Sam. These things are built to last a lifetime, not just yours and mine, but your children, your children's children. And by that time, it becomes a collector's item. Mm -hmm. Like one of those, uh, those little liquor bottles in the shape of Elvis, you know? Mikey! <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to take a pass on this one. I don't think you can pass until you see one more feature of the LC2000. Did you know that this can plug in with your entire system with just the push of a button? Come sock. Showtime. Huh? <laughs> and it can retain the memory of your hard drive in the pocket of your ski parka. Well, imagine if you have a, uh, a wonderful tax idea on the slopes. Mm -hmm. Failure. Hard drive over. Oh, well, this is just a, a, a tiny adjustment. Down. It's a little Warning. Hard. Tiny. Sector missing. Tiny. God damn, I lost the whole list of account deductions. What's going on here? My files yeah. are all well, well, out. Well, well, You've wiped out all our financial records. I do. Uh, uh, Warranty in the entire industry. Bernie, we are screwed. Absolutely, thoroughly, completely. Maybe we need to sell it differently. Market it to elementary schools, huh? First laptop designed for kids. Their hands are too big for this. How about infants? We'll drive by the nursery at Holy Cross. Maybe we'll unload a gross. Bernie, we're not gonna sell these lemons. What am I talking about? They're not even, they're not big enough to be lemons. They're kumquats. Hey. Why drive yourself crazy over this when you can drive yourself crazy over that? I don't understand it. Why do you torture yourself with all these drive-by windows? It's no torture. Yeah. I just go home when I'm making love to the wife and scream out their license plates. <laughs> hey, come on, don't tell me you don't fantasize. You know what? I don't even... Read this. Nobody else is selling either. What's Sharpell gonna do? Fire everybody? Look, he bought the company for close to a billion. Don't you think he he thinks he's gonna make money? You never know. Maybe he needs a loss. Hey, hey, come on. Take the stairs. Get some exercise. You'll feel better. I don't need exercise. Come on. I don't want to do this. Come on. A little exercise. Oh, get the blood going. I'm telling you, when Sharpell comes. And he sees that we're not selling as many cacas. He's either going to drop the product or fire the entire sales force. Hey, he bought this company, OK? Maybe he's too stupid to uh -huh. dump us. Bernie, wait up, will you? I feel the ship going down. And I want to tell you something. I am not going down with Jack. 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 There appears to be no damage. He just lied in lay terms of panic attack. Thank God. But he's completely burned out. If your husband doesn't slow down and get uh, rid of some of this stress. Excuse me. Uh, before you go on, let me just say that I can hear you. Well, you should both know this may never happen again, or you may be on your way to some serious health problem. I choose never happen again. I'm ordering you to stay home and get some peace and quiet. He's got to be single. Uh, let's put it this way, Doc. If you want a panic attack, you come to our house for dinner. 
Maybe you should all take a vacation. We can leave the kids home alone. No, the, the people who tried that and went to Mexico, they're serving eight to ten in Attica. How about this? The kids have been hounding us to take them camping. Mm -hmm. We're not big on sleeping in tents anyway. Mm -hmm. So why don't I just pack up the sleeping bags and head to Mount Baker? You could have the house to yourself for the week. I can't let you do that, honey. I can't let anything happen to you. I'm married to a saint. No, you're not. In six months, you take the kids, and I get a week off. Deal. Mommy, Mommy, he's chasing me! Oh, Nicholas, Mommy, Mommy. stop. Mommy. Just don't forget me, Picasso. Please don't forget me. Take it somewhere else, will ya? I'm supposed to rest. Laura, I think I remember how to use that lamp. Have you forgotten? My mother bought us a smart clapper for Christmas. Now take two clappers. That won't be too much exertion, will it? You know what? I promise you, if I get too weak, I'll, I'll hire someone to clap for me. Thank you. Have you got everything, Nicholas? Underwear? Jeez, underwear. See, there are seven casseroles in the freezer. Mm -hmm. They're completely marked and labeled in order of spiciness. So if you have Mexican one day and you get gas, <laughs> promise me that you'll have tuna the next night. I swear to you, I promise you one day of gas at a time, okay? I just realized we haven't spent the night apart since our first date. Oh, that's when Mommy asked me to spend the night. She was very aggressive. <laughs> Who knew you'd never go home? I have excellent taste. I'm not really nervous about this. I mean, I know we can spend a week apart and nothing will happen. What's going to happen? I have no plans to leave this couch. Except, of course, to use your new gift, which will help me become an even more mediocre golfer. Okay. Okay? Mm-hmm. So please take care of yourself and have a wonderful week off. You too. Sweetie. Okay, kids, let's go. Don't forget that. Promise you won't forget me. I won't forget you. And if I start to forget you, I've got pictures of you all over the place. Let me kiss. Let me kiss. I can kiss. Yeah. I love you. Let's go. Wait a minute. Okay. Wait a minute. Did we say goodbye? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Okay. Let's go. Come on, sweetie. Okay. Bye-bye. Now, Nick, when you're behind the wheel, all right, I need you not to speed. Okay? okay? Bye. Take care of the girls. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye. 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 After my third open heart surgery, I decided to leave it in the Lord's hands. Our focus today, people living with baboons' hearts. So when did the funeral director notice you were breathing? Dress in death. On Good Day Seattle. Oh! 
How is it, Doctor? I'm afraid his heart just gave out. Oh. We did everything we could. Oh, no, please. Medical sign. He's a cop. Oh, you don't want me to wake her. Whoever it is, I uh, just itemized everything in this house tonight. Nothing is worth more than seventy-nine ninety-five. Even if I had a successful garage sale, I don't think I, I could raise a grand. Hey, Jack, it's me, Bernie. What are you doing? I got the key under the mat. Sorry, man. Barbara threw me out. What'd you do? Same old, same old. You know, she didn't climax. Come on. Jack, I'm not really tired. Yes, you are. Jack, I can't go to sleep without sex. I was tense tonight about the job. I, I didn't want to slow down. All right, all right. So you'll march over there tomorrow morning. You'll apologize. Maybe not. You know... Don't get me wrong. I mean, I love Barbara, but maybe all this is happening for a reason, you know? Like, it's not a crisis. It's an opportunity. You want to go out for a drink? Bernie, I'm supposed to take it easy. You're right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Go back to bed. Don't worry about me. I'll see you in the morning. All right. I take full responsibility. Oh, really? I thought it was my responsibility because I know you. I told you, I can't go to sleep without a woman. Oh, I can't wait to find out what this is. Have you got a egg beater around here somewhere? Wait. I found it. <clears throat> I hope you don't mind. I I've got to make a cake. I'm I'm just dying for something sweet. Bernie, could I see you for a minute, please? This woman just asked me for an egg beater. Oh. Jack, this lovely lady is Cherise, and that is Pauline. Kenny Grapes? <laughs> <laughs> what is going on here? I don't know. It's like it has a mind of its own, you know? It's like it went out, and I was just there following. Luckily, I, uh... Ran into these two ladies at the Blue Note. We go there sometimes because the music is so sad and we feel like getting depressed. <laughs> oh, lady. Yeah? Ladies, I'm so sorry. What? It's very nice to meet you. We're You've making made a cake. terrible mistake. I know, but You've made a terrible mistake. This man does not know the meaning of the oh. word climax. Yes. Oh. Oh. It's your back. And you're... Oh, no, I'm not. Listen, the same thing happens to me. I don't even know you, Jack, but I'm willing to give you drugs. And I'm willing to just say no. Oh. 
They're not drugs, actually. They're homeopathic herbs. Uh, uh, from my uh, doctor, who's an MD. And also a holistic Buddhist. Do you really need to take these, Jack, before your whole body goes into spasms? You know, I've read these alternative remedies can be very helpful. Why don't you start to read? Jack, it's an herb. Mm. Salad and a pill. Mm -mm. Worst case scenario, you're regular. Jack, look at me. Pain. Relief. Mm. Jack. Pain. Mm. Relief. Come on, open nice. Relief. Mm. Relief. I wish you were this convincing when you sell computers. Oh. Good boy. Huh. Oh, easy there, boy. There you go. That's it. Uh, good boy. Love it. Yep. Come on. Come okay, on. guys, let me just. A little more. Let me just, just here, you. A little bit more. You think you. Hi, Rob. <laughs> How are you? Hey. No, wrong way. Wrong way. Like Come friends. on. Come on, buddy. There you go. Come on. There you go. A little bit to the east. That's the man. Except for the, for the party and the license. All right, when are you going to stop being a little baby? Come back to me. Every time you do something like that, it just makes me realize I was right to break up with you. Damn it, Cerise. Why don't you get some professional help? You know what I think? I think you really hate your father and you're taking out on this poor guy. Excuse me. Excuse me. 
There has got to be a stronger force than man to put us together. I mean, I have heard that life has its defining moments, and last night was one of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you made me feel so good. Oh, I haven't felt that good with a man in a long time. You took my kidney and you sold it to the Japanese, didn't you? <laughs> I wouldn't do that. Well, not to you, anyway. Where am I? In our love nest. I was unfaithful to my wife. Technically. No, there's no technically. I was unfaithful to my wife. Oh, my God. I was unfaithful to my wife. Oh, my God, I was unfaithful to my wife. You could claim it was herbs and booze, although tonight we don't need any of that. There is not going to be a tonight. What do you assume, Sayer Jack? There has got to be a tonight because you are the first step in me turning my life around. Why am I handcuffed to this bed? I gave you a choice between this and little electric shocks. You chose this. Close, close. I gotta get out of here. Close, close. I can't wear that. Oh God. Oh God. Okay. Oh. 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 Jack, where are you? How could you do this to me? You let her take me home with her. Who let you? You told everybody in the whole club you were going home with her. I shouted it to the whole club? Charpel's here. He wants everybody here for a meeting. When? Right away. Look, I can make some excuse. Don't you say a word. Okay. Oh, my God, I can't lose my dental plan. Well, I don't think your boyfriend is going to mind that I'm wearing his clothes to you. Seems like such a nice guy. You gotta remember, Chip is not as evolved as you are. He's got a good heart, but I'll bet anything he doesn't have an old soul. Oh, well, that explains why he kicked me. Oh. Oh. I told you that the gum wouldn't hold? Oh, it does if you believe it will. Oh. 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 Gee, usually when I look for a guy's tooth between his legs, I get some kind of a hello! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I found it! Oh, no! The police! Wait, right, now, listen. Let me handle this. Okay, you might want to stick this back in. It'll make a better impression. All right, now. All right, all right! Yes, officer. Well, folks, you realize how bad... Officer, I'm nine months pregnant, and we're on the way to the hospital. What? No, I mean, there's a guy with an automatic weapon. He's chasing us. Officer, she is hormonally challenged at this moment. <laughs> Tracy, what are you doing? Haven't you ever heard of Rodney King? <laughs> oh, oh, no. Wait, you... <laughs> you're not human! <laughs> you let go of the wheel. Get off me. Will you let go of the wheel? Oh, my God! Oh, my God, you're crazy! <laughs> Get the license number? No. What's the matter with you? You're one off the gas. We're here. We are here. We're here. We could have been killed. We could have been late. You're not. Fix your tooth and walk home. Great advice. Yeah. You go, Jackie. Your job's at stake. Oh. So, how did it go down? 
Like a pork chop at a bar mitzvah. That bad, huh? Worse. Luckily, I managed to negotiate a really mediocre severance package. Good luck, buddy. Oh. Doing that, they're gonna think you have a tick. What are you doing here? I gotta pee so bad. And you go right back down to that car and you hold it in. No way. Did you know why those Russians near Siberia live longer? Do I care? Three things, okay? Vodka every day, yogurt every day, and they pee the second they have to. No, 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 well, usually is, unless somebody rear ends it. Emmett, Jack Potter. Hello, Jack. Sit. Be comfortable. This is not a job interview, it's getting acquainted. Why don't you go call the police again, ask if they got any paint from that asshole's car on my fender? Yes, sir. Sorry about that. Accidents happen to everyone, but nothing steams me like a hit and run. That I can't forgive. Well? My tooth just fell out. The bad gums. It's hereditary. On my mother's side. So, I've uh, studied your sales record. Not much to say, is there? No. I just got one question I want to ask you, is what do you think of the product? The product? The, uh, computer we sell? Oh, wow, that's, that's tough. Yeah, it's, um... Regular-sized Americans find it very difficult to operate, sir. Which is not necessarily a bad thing, but in this case it is. At last, an honest man. And I agree with you. My engineers are uh, working on it. So is there anything you'd like to ask me? Like, are you going to have a job around here? That's a good question. The answer is no. I don't give people jobs, I make them partners. Makes them work harder when they got a piece of the pie. Word has it you know your way around a sales pitch, especially when you got something decent to sell. But we'll talk about it later when I meet your wife. See, co-owning a company with a family man has always worked out better for me. When a man's got a wife and kids to feed, he's more interested in the spreadsheets, if you know what I mean. I do. I... So why don't we get together for dinner tonight, just the four of us, us and the wives? Yeah, but you see, unfortunately, my wife can't make it. I'll level with you. There's another candidate. Oh, yeah? I'm not saying meeting your wife could sway me one way or the other, but mm. it could. I'm coming. You're coming? Yeah. Good. How's about the petite beast roll over on Pine at 8? Okay. But, you see, unfortunately... My... Fine. See yeah. you later. Okay. Who sent you to ruin my life? This is not a conspiracy. This is one woman's battle. Yeah, well, I'm going to my office, and you leave the rest of your life alone. Last night in bed was amazing. I will never forget it. Uh, thank you so much, Miss... Charisse. Mm -hmm. For the chewing gum. And goodbye. Goodbye. Is there no security in this building? Will all people without cars please report to the Red Oldsmobile situated in the middle of the parking lot? I thought I told you to get lost. I tried, but I know the neighborhood too well. Okay, okay, okay. What do you want from me? A chance to get back what I've taken from society. 
Oh, be careful. That's Chips. He uses it to break up street fights. You know, Chips not all that. There's a soft side to him that no one's ever seen. Hey! Get in. I'll drive you home. It's the least I can do after what you've done to me. And then you'll go? Sure. This is the house. Where are you going? I need to get Chip's clothes back. You know, it makes me want to cry thinking about all the hours he spent picking them out. Did I leave the stereo? Uh, you know, you really need to get some new music, Jack. It's like you stopped living with Donna Summer went under. <laughs> oh, my God. Just a refreshment to that lousy, lousy job. Why, Bernie? Why, Zach? I'm in mourning, okay? I got no job. I got no wife. It hurts so bad I could die. And this is helping to soothe the pain? Yeah, I can't stop thinking about Barbara, you know? I, 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 I had to do something the two of us would never do together. You mean you and your wife never had parties with single women? No. I was restricted. Ah. How about a steak? Where is it? Bunk. Bon. Hello! Hello? Speak up. Hello? Jack? Laura! I, I can't hear you. What? I sound like disco! No, I, I, I think we have a very bad connection. I keep hearing no, no, I, I think that our lines got crossed, that's all. Are you resting? I'm lying down. I can't... Kids! That tree belongs to the park! Jack, I can't hear you. I'll try you later. Keeping it inside is what led me to crime in the first place. I, I feel for you. I mean, nobody's born violent. At least they have a found a violent gene. Oh, it had to be my environment that led me to snap in people's necks. Oh. <laughs> officer, officer, there is a criminal in here. Oh, there you are, you maniac. I am so sorry, Jack. I'm sorry about all this. The, the minute they took you away, I called Sandy. He's going to take care of everything. What's the difference between a skunk dead on the road and a lawyer dead on the road? Oh, please. With a skunk, there's skid marks. <laughs> uh, anyway, I posted bail, so, uh, officer? Did I mention that I was my mother's favorite? Hey, you're my favorite. Jack, I'd like you to meet my wife, Gail. Hello. Well, sit down. Oh, yeah. I'm so embarrassed because when we made this date, I completely forgot that my wife is camping up at Mount Baker. <laughs> uh, I, I know that you probably think that it's weird, um, you know, to forget where your, your wife is, but I was so nervous about our meeting today. <laughs> She's been found. <gasps> what? Oh, and she's fascinating and she told us all about you why don't you tell me you went to princeton on a cruise scholarship hi honey i'm home what did you do
doing here? <laughs> I'm your wife, remember? <laughs> it's a little game we play. <laughs> Keeps the marriage interesting. <laughs> we pretend we haven't seen each other before every night. Mm. Well, we play little games, too, <gasps> like oh, our no, favorite. How, how did you two meet? We met when we were both jockeys. You don't look like a jockey. Oh, not the little jockeys, like the ones on the lawn. We met when we were disc jockeys at an R&B station. You remember, honey, how we used to have to pretend that we were African-Americans? Oh, I never had to pack so fast in my life. Well, it certainly sounds like an interesting beginning. You know what? Our whole life has been interesting. I mean, do you remember our honeymoon, darling? Remind me. Oh, God. I mean, we went on the most magnificent safari. I mean, it was just... It was so beautiful. I mean, the, the colors, and they were so vibrant, and the noises, and the sounds, and the... And then we were taken around by chiefs from every tribe, and everything was just perfect until Jack got hurt. Oh. Oh. Well, you tell him, sweetheart. Oh, no, no. No, you tell him. No one tells a story better than this woman. But it happened to you. It did, didn't it? Yeah. Well, we were alone, and, and we were together, and there we were. And, uh, it was very, uh, and, uh, I just uh, fell right off the chair. Just... He is too modest to tell the rest of his story because to make a long story short, the cobra was still wrapped around his neck by the time we got to the witch doctor. Oh, Emmett, I had no idea you were becoming involved with such interesting people. Oh, to the future. Oh. Future and a future friend. Oh. And speaking of the future, did Jack tell you that we're expecting a baby? <laughs> you all right, honey? Why don't you tell me, Jack? You know I like guys with big families. I didn't get a chance. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> In about seven and a half months, we will all be celebrating the arrival of our twins. <laughs> How could you have invited them over? I know you find this hard to believe, Jack, but I was brought up well, and if somebody takes you to dinner, it's only fair you bring them back to your house and get them loaded. Wow, that looks like my house. It is my house. It is my house! you doing, asshole? You're making a big mistake letting me go. Excuse us. <laughs> what are you asshole. doing? He's an asshole. You burnt my house down. Don't you know how to use a barbecue? You're right. I can, you never should have turned it all the way up, Jack, no matter how chilly the babes got. I mean, oh, this is awful. Look, I want you to come and stay with us. We've rented this enormous house. <laughs> yes, and we'll turn this into a good thing, and we'll have a pajama party. <laughs> Uh, that really won't be necessary. No. We have a place to stay. She has an apartment not far from here. Your wife has her own apartment? Well, it, it's... It's a storage vault. I was running out of closet space. She was running out of closet space. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is God's way of saying, Bernie, you're a schmuck. No, if God was saying that, he'd be burning your roof. <laughs> Music in the night, a dream that can be heard. Hey, tonight let's pretend that I'm Gail and you're Emmett. And not have sex. That's okay. I haven't felt like being near you since I conceived the twins. Why do you insist on saying things like that? You know, because, I don't know, I don't think you've caught on to the world yet, Jack. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just have to say things that other people want to hear. 
And this guy, he's into kids and wives and families. And I'm just making our family a little bigger, that's all. But it's gonna be so much harder when he knows that your wife is expecting. Is that your bag? Oh. You know, I learned how to be a chiropractor when I was in China. Yeah, that's one of those things that you say when you're believing it right now, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And if you believe it too, it's going to make it that much easier. Sure. Okay, forget it. Yeah. Oh. Is that better? Uh, no. Yes, it is. God, you know you are such a bad liar, Jack. You know you drew when you lie. I learned that about you last night. Okay. Look. Just... No funny stuff, okay? Well, you think what I did last night was funny? You weren't laughing. You were screaming for more. Are you sure that was me? No. Uh-huh. This must be what it feels like to be safe. or cookies anywhere. Uh-huh. No? I thought I saw some moth balls in the bedroom. They turned out to be little soaps. You know, they're going to catch us. Jack, these people, they are very sound sleepers, okay? I, I, I checked under their, both their pillows for mints. You were in their bedroom? Mm-hmm. Oh, don't tell me you're going to make a cake again in the middle of the night. You're right. I'm going to eat the dough. They're going to get up. They're going to go to the bathroom. They're going to hear this. Jack, how many people make cakes in the middle of the night, huh? <laughs> They're going to think it's a vibrator. Vibrator? Oh. Stay away. All right. I am armed. Oh, jeez, you piece of shit. He's going around with my fiance. Chip, I am not your fiance, and I'm sick and tired of you trailing me around all the time. We broke up! can't break up. I'm in love with you, all right? Now, you come with me before I hit him again. Great idea. Goodbye, Sharice. I love you. I can't get you out of my, my bloodstream. Forget it, Chip. You won't see a therapist. Well, they asked too many questions. Don't let him take that! Could you put her down, please? Just for a moment, okay. please. Just put her down. Hey. 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 Okay, okay. All right. Okay. It's a long story. All right, that's it. Everybody freeze. Okay, get him up. Get him up. Let's go. Move him up. Let's go. Let's go. That's it. Everybody, let's move this way. Let's go. Let's go. All people in there. Get going. You two, move. Come on, you two. You're a little confused. You wanted her. You love her. Yeah, 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 but I hate you. Where'd you get that? Well, this, this, this I had hidden. That's all those guns in the trash. Yeah, that's right. She did my whole collection, but you forgot one. Now let's move! How could you forget one? Oh, oh. All right, all right, Chips. We're all in the car. I'm just dying to hear what you think you're gonna do next. I got plans. Oh, yeah, I know you. Probably didn't even gas up before the big getaway. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, maybe I plan to torture him and see if you come to his rescue to test your love. 
What are you talking about? We met yesterday. Whatever. Taking me against my will. Oh, that's funny. So are we. <laughs> Who are you people? Let's just say we're members of a secret social organization, and your friend here owes a friend of ours a lot of money. Oh, chip, 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 mister, I'm mature. I don't think you understand. These are not my people. I don't run with these people. I don't break bread with these people. Get in. Where? Into the trunk. I don't think so. You know what, Jack? Normally I'd say do whatever you want, but right now I think we're gonna have to be luggage. Move it! Yeah, I'm going. Oh, we're gonna die. Being in a trunk doesn't always mean that you're gonna die. In fact, in most cases, when you're in a trunk, it means you're already dead. Would you just tell me one thing? What do you see in this guy? Stability. Responsibility. Oh. <laughs> Uh, I don't see you crying. I just don't get it. I mean, what does he have that, ouch, I don't have? He makes me feel safe. As opposed to the situation we're currently in, which was caused by you. Would you please stop talking? You're gonna use up all the available oxygen we have left in here. Man, why don't you stop being a wuss and you fight for her like a man? Come on! Ow! What the hell is wrong with you people? Get out. <laughs> Let me just say this. He started it. Have the money? Yes. And as soon as my inside tip on this cockfight pays off, which by the way is a sure thing. You told me you weren't gambling anymore. Yeah, but the cock is gonna throw it. It's a sure thing. Oh! Well, why didn't you just say so, Chippy? Uh, for a second there, I thought you weren't gonna give me the two grand you owe me. Oh, please, Keela, I'm on my knees. Or you know, I, I would be if I wasn't so scared to move. Sorry. But if I don't blow you away, other people are gonna think they can rip me off. Don't! Wait, 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 wait. Can you see how upset she is? How about if you just let us go? Are you kidding? You've seen our faces. You're not going anywhere. No, but you know what? I don't see any distinguishing marks. You look like any number of scary hoodlums. It's the bank! Tell them to drop their pieces! We don't drop nothing. You're on our turf. Gentlemen, I have seen the worst situations solved by gentle communication. Who's this dude? He's a decent guy who got mixed up in my lousy life, and he doesn't deserve to go through any of this. It's the cops! <laughs> This is a major mistake. I mean, look at this. This isn't me. Oh, okay, it's me, but it isn't me. Well, Jack, it looks like you've been having a very busy week. Resisting arrest, high-speed chase, disturbing the peace. Ooh, and you were out on bail, too. 
I was? Mm. See, my wife and children left town, and then my friend introduced me to this girl, Charisse. There's always a girl. She has made my life into a living hell. Well, Jack, don't you worry, because where you're going, she won't be able to get to you. All right, look, 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 I don't want any trouble. You've been hanging out with the wrong crowd for that. Leave him. He's a friend of mine. Back off. Back off. Thank you. You snapping any necks while I was gone? No. I remember to take my medication. Good boy. Yeah. Good boy. I hope you don't mind I went in your closet. I hope you like the shirt. Eh? There wasn't a lot to pick from. Thank you very much for bringing my clothes. I can't turn my back for a minute with you. Let me tell you something, okay? I don't need you to take care of me. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, yes, you do. How the hell did you wind up in jail again? You must really love the strip search. When is he going to get me out of here? Sandy's going to try to get a hold of the DA, but uh, he doesn't think there's going to be any bail set. Why not? Who am I, Charles Manson? Hey, sit oh, down. Okay, okay. Apparently, it's all done by formula. Jack, your rap sheet takes up a whole page on a computer screen. On the positive side, maybe you'll get a shot on court TV. You gotta get me out of here, Bernie. What am I gonna say to Laura? Ah, don't, don't worry. Uh, she's called, I'll make up some excuse. Uh, you were abducted by aliens. Oh, hey, that's great, Bernie. And don't forget to throw in that the only reason I agreed to go was to save our planet. Hold up, bad scene. Bad seat. Go away. Go away. Thank you. You must be pissed at me. Oh, no. Pissed is when you run out of toilet tissue and you gotta yell for it. Okay, so you're really angry? Really angry is when you stab somebody and you cut the body up into little pieces. Ooh, maybe you should be behind bars. You know where I should be? on my couch, clapping on and clapping off television, and you should be nowhere near my life. Jack, you're in denial. You're not gonna get through any of this unless you deal with reality. Let me tell you what reality is. I am going to be killed in my cell. Thank you. Not if you stay out of trouble and mind your own business. To make sure you do, I've got you a few things to keep you busy. A coloring book, a puzzle, and some crayons. I am in prison. I am not a six-year-old girl in summer camp. Okay, okay. You're gonna love this. Where'd you get this? I bought it. It was on the markdown, markdown, markdown table. Okay, time's up. <sighs> Goodbye, lover. <laughs> hey, dude. Oh, very good, Sam. Very good. Oh, that's cool, man. That's great. Geez, that thing's small, huh? You mind if I have a look? No, I help yourself. Yeah, I'm kind of a computer nut myself. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I met my second wife in a chat room on the net. Oh, I met my wife in high school. What is this gonna do to her? Anybody ever tell you you get your fingernail caught between the keys here? We're working on it. <laughs> oh, wow. You got the new Centrex system. Yeah, with a 32-bit parallel server. Oh, yeah. We have the most advanced system in the country. Every one of those workstations is linked not just to downtown, but to the national criminal records in Washington, D.C. You know what else is very impressive? That this little guy can hold all that information in the palm of your hand. What? You're telling me that this toy has as much memory as those big guys? Oh, the LC-2000 is not a toy. And yes, it can. Want me to show you? Uh, no, I can't. You have to stay in your cell. I'll tell you why. 
If it doesn't do everything I say it can, I'll give it to you for free. And if it can, I'll give it to you for wholesale. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, can you all see this? Yeah. All right, you are looking at the future. This is the computer that is going to lead us into the next century. All right, now I'm going to copy all of your files with just the push of a button. Come, stop. Huh? Whoa. Huh. I'm sold. Yeah. Okay. Hard uh, drive overload. Found. We're racing our hard drive. We're losing all our data. I'm shocked. I've never seen it do this before. Destroying our entire electrical system. Hey, 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 stop it. Get back in there. Tell her to give me a call. Okay? Thanks. Come back here! Come back here! Madam, what a beautiful dog you have. I... Deciding whether to be mauled over by him or screwed over by you. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But Try me. Okay. I've decided that you and I should have a suicide pact. Excuse me? Ah, Jack. Don't you see? We've reached the high point of our lives. I mean, it's not going to get any better than this moment. 
beautiful day, beautiful car, beautiful girl, beautiful escape. You've got to get out while you're on top because the rest is all downhill, and I mean that literally. Oh, come on, cut this out. I'm heading to that cliff, Jack. And if I don't have a chance to say goodbye before... Goodbye. Stop! I've got children! Stop! Stop! I gotta get those brakes checked. What is wrong with you? <sighs> what in the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> Jack. Don't tell me I'm not going to be able to play with your mind anymore. Oh, no. But I'll tell you something. I'm going to play with yours. Ah! I got you, didn't I? How could you get me? I saw the stairs before you jumped. Oh. But it is a beginning. Yeah. <laughs> You know, if you have a handful of sand and you relax, none of it gets away. But if you try and keep it there, you squeeze your hand around it, it falls right through your fingers. <sighs> Let a lot of things fall through my fingers. I knew Chip wasn't right for me, but it was like I was addicted to him, you know? Something good did come out of it, though. We named her Angela. Do you want to see a picture? Yes, I would. Okay. Where is she now? She's in Tacoma with my parents. I have visitation rights, but the courts feel that she'll have a more stable life with them. My parents raised me. Do I seem that stable? Charisse, it would kill me not to be with my children. It's killing me too, Jack. everything we've been through, what could you possibly not say to me? I want you to marry me. Well, there's one thing. Okay. It's not like we actually have to get married. We just have to tell my parents that we did. You see, the only way that they'll let me have Angela back is if they know that I'm settled down with somebody who's, who's respectable and mature and trustworthy. And you're all of those things, except for the jailbreak. Yeah, and sleeping with you. Um, yeah, I, I forgot to tell you, uh, we didn't do anything. What are you talking about? You told me the whole story. Yeah, but nothing happened, Jack. You said I was a stud. Well, I'm sure you would have been if you hadn't barfed all over my TV and then passed out cold. So let me get this straight. You're saying that I didn't... Oh. I'm sorry. You know, I thought that we needed guilt to hold us together, but we don't need that anymore. So what you're saying is this little marriage idea didn't just pop into your mind. The minute I saw you, I knew that you were the guy to help me handle my parents. Well, I'm very flattered that you see me as a Boy Scout, but I don't think I'm the man for the job. I drool when I lie, remember? Yeah, I, I don't think that I can pull it off. Thanks for asking. Yeah, sure. It was just a shot. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Well, goodbye, Jack. Please don't say goodbye, because I'll get very emotional. This too. No, no, Jack, stop it. That's enough. Just tell me, just tell me. Do you have plans to see her again, huh? Not in any lifetime until I reach Nirvana. What, are you taking her to a concert? That group broke up, you idiot. Kurt Cobain, he bought the farm. You are so stupid. You make me sick. You just so... Oh, wait, wait, where do you think you're going? I've got a manicure. You what? More... Nice try. Look, you're... Oh, no, you're coming with me no, right no, now. Hey, no. you're coming with me. You said he's impotent or something. Come on. Come on, Shuri. Hey! How did you get out? I think I finally found a use for that lousy computer. <laughs> Jack! What the hell are you still doing here? That is a good question. Buddy, I am so depressed. The glamour of being single is over. <laughs> Go home and talk to Barbara. I tried. I tried reconciling with her last night, right? I told her how much I missed her. I told her I had a midlife crisis, but it was over by midweek. And? Eh, you know, I don't know, something about goose and ganders. And <laughs> laughed her head off. Bernie, you gotta go try again, okay? I can't. She changed the locks. <laughs> Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, Jack, where are you going? Hey, I, hey, come on, I'm making lamb chops. Yeah, we'll save them. I'm about to do something I'm really gonna regret. Hey, don't worry. Not on the barbecue! Cherise? Cherise? You know what? I was just going for a manicure. That's all. Where do you think you're going, huh? You saved our asses! Yeah! yeah. I did. Well, I had a record as long as all our arms combined. Now, they don't even know my name. You know, I think that you guys should actually turn yourselves in. <laughs> Are you kidding? I was facing three strikes and I was out. I love this man. This is the man I love. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I think you're cutting off my air supply. Thank you. I'll just be going now. Hey! hey. You're a brother now. Where do you need to go? I'm actually looking for this guy, Chip, because I have no idea what this maniac is going to do to a friend of mine. Right. Your girl, huh? <laughs> well, she's not my girl, but he thinks that she's his girl. But she doesn't want to be his girl, so I'm pretending that she's my girl in order to get her girl back. Look, I don't know what you just said, but we want to find him just as bad as you do. Come on, I know where that worm hides out. No, it's great. I'll follow you. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Jack, we would like you to join us in the Dragons. You guys want me to join the gang? Mm hmm. We follow an ancient tradition. When a man saves a brother, he becomes a brother too. I am so flattered. But you know, with the wife and the kids and the honest living, I, I just wouldn't have the time to participate. 
Well, everyone needs a gang. I mean, who watches your back? Usually just the people behind me in the elevator. Well, what if someone in that elevator shoots you? I mean, if you're in a gang, I watch your back, you watch mine. Are you saying wash or watch? Of course, uh, you'll have to be initiated. Oh, is that kind of like a Hell Knight kind of a deal? Well, it's 8 o'clock in the hood on a Friday. Kicking it hard with my boys doing it my way. I say, ain't nothing wrong when we hanging. Who in the town in the ride with sounds banging? Turn it up, pop the clutch and hit the fast lane. Get on the cellular, call up the regular girls to set up the late night situation. I'm stepping to four girls with no hesitation. I'm in the fly cause I'm hanging with my crew. Is this right? It is. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. We win. win. It's perfect. Let's go. Will they take American Express? I've got that covered. What do you mean? Let's go. What are you talking about? Hey, where the hell do you think oh. you're going? Hey, guys. Guys! took you so long. You expected me? Considering the guilt I laid on you, you should have been here hours ago. Come on, guys, guys, give me a break. You're dead. Where do you want it? The face or the neck, huh? Uh, gentlemen, uh, could I ask you a small favor, please? Uh, just before you break every bone in his body, could you just sit on it for 24 hours? Jack, this guy owes me $2,000. I'm hip. <laughs> but I'm just asking not to hurt him until we get back. Yeah. I guess we can do that for a brother. You know, honey, usually I'm a pretty good judge of character and everything, but I was, I was wrong about this guy. He's beautiful. I'm beautiful. Okay. 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 Well, come on. Come on. We've got some relatives to meet. Get some rope. Yeah. Okay, Daddy. I love you too. Okay. Bye. <gasps> They'll be over tomorrow at noon. God, wait till they see your house. They're gonna be so impressed. Impressed? Half my house is in ashes. Oh, my parents are big on details. What they will notice is it's completely middle class, totally straight and dull. In short, everything they're hoping my life will become. You know, you have this unique way of making the person who's helping you feel like they want to drop you off at the next bus stop. Hmm. Laura. people over and not serve them anything. Yeah, well, uh, how did you get in? Jack, I've got windows blown out. I mean, I'm surprised squatters haven't taken up residence. I don't think I'm saying to you enough. You're doing a really wonderful thing. You're a sweet guy, Jack. And handsome. I'm very sexy. Slightly certifiable. <laughs> you know, the truth is, I thought I was going to spend this last week on a couch. I'm so happy I did.
I used to think a guy like you was the last thing I wanted. Now I know it's exactly what I've been looking for. Is there another guy like you in this world? Only much, much younger. I'll look. Okay. Okay. Good night. Good night. Oh, a uh, Jack. Um, do you mind if I take my pictures and put them in your frames and then? <laughs> them all over your house. And if I minded, uh, you would do it anyway. Didn't you say that just your family was coming over? Yeah, well, when I called my family, they told me all the people I'd be insulting if I left them out. <gasps> oh, those flowers are so You know so what? Beautiful. Actually, I'm just curious. I'm that just is... curious. Who, excuse me, is going to pay for all of this? Uh, I kind of uh, went through your wallet and I kind of found your credit cards and I, I kind of used them, but I'm going to kind of pay you back. Yeah? Well, I'm going to kind of kill you. Oh, an orphan, my only child. Very nice, Jack. I think the red and the purple are clashing. safe neighborhood before she came. So, uh, Charisse tells us you, you sell computers. Yes, that's right. So you're, you're one of them guys what's cruising the uh, information highway that... Well, I'm not exactly cruising. I'm stuck in traffic. <laughs> uh, Charisse, I need your help down here. Yeah, um, I need your help, too. I need to know what you think. Beautiful. Thanks. What am I saying? Didn't you tell them we're already married? Well, every girl wants her wedding day. I've been dreaming of this since I was six. What? That you're going to marry somebody else's husband? <sighs> you're not really going to marry me. I got an actor to pretend he's the minister. I wanted George Clooney, but you know what he costs an hour? <laughs> actor Schmackter, this is a moral thing. I'm already married to a wonderful, insane woman who, if, if she even hears about this, is going to run me over and over and over and over with her car. Oh, that reminds me she called. You spoke to her? 
I am manipulative, not dumb. She left a message on the machine. Jack, I hope you got my other messages. It's been raining for days. I can't take it anymore. I'm coming home. See you soon. I love you. I love you, too. What day is it? It's my wedding day. And? And it's your wife's coming home early day. I'm very cognizant of that, Jack. Why do you think what I really wanted is sit-down dinner? We're having an afternoon affair. We're having nothing. We're having nothing. You've got to tell all these people to get out of my house. What? Get out of my house. <gasps> oh, my little sweetheart. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Jack. We've waited a long time for our daughter to meet the right man. Oh. Mom. Yeah? There's something I gotta tell you. Uh -huh. What? Jack isn't really... Good at waiting. I'm not really good at waiting. And, and uh, Angela, should we get married? Should we get married? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. thing I like about you. Hmm. You're not Chip. Hmm. My motto was anyone but Chip. Hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. Emmett, Gail, what are you doing here? When Cherise called to see if we'd gotten out of our closet, she invited us. I think it is so romantic to reconfirm your vows. Yeah. See, thanks to you, you planted seeds in her head. Hey, they're ready for us to walk down the aisle. Hmm, us. I'm your best man. Jack, you're a schmuck. I gotta tell you, I mean, you've been alone a week. You getting married again? I just couldn't stay single, Bernie. Okay, let's do it. You're dead. Oh. Go with the short version, okay? We're gathered here today to join these two people in holy matrimony. Although I don't know Jack, I've known Charisse since I baptized her. Excuse me. Are you an actor? No. No. He's not an actor. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of Washington, Sir. I now pronounce you... Grace! 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 I love you! I made mistakes, and I've been an idiot, but I'm, I'm an idiot who needs you. Okay, I need you. I really need you. I need you, okay? Oh, Chip. Chip. Hey, Dad. It's him! Get it! Oh. Come on! Hey! Excuse me! This is great. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man! Oh, look! 
Come Somebody on. from my side did show up. Everyone stop it! All right, all right. Time for the truth. As you all know, Chip is the father of my baby, and I appreciate him for that. But I can't be with you. <coughs> you see, I need stability for me and Angela. And I've grown up, and you haven't. You're invited to be the baby's father the minute you do. Oh, all right, all right. It's really time for the truth. Are you sure? Okay, the truth is that uh, I'm already married and I love my wife and kids. That's why I understand that Cherise has to be with her baby. Her baby is her family. And family is like an annex to your soul. And right now, Cherise's soul is hurting very badly. My family has been gone for less than a week. And in the beginning, I, I thought I was going to have such a great time being alone. And then slowly, The emptiness crept in. And I expected to see my, my family in every room, around every corner. And when I realized they were gone, it just tore a little piece right out of me. Nobody should be without the people they love. It just isn't the way it's supposed to be. truth I just want the whole family to know that our middle boy Bob is not my husband's son oh, it's true my real father's uncle Morty <laughs> oh, <laughs> okay I have to tell you Dale and I aren't really married. You see, I'm a Catholic. And my wife is in the... the insane asylum. I've been waiting to tell somebody this for years. I'm a virgin. And I have very little pubic hair. I knew that. I just want to say that I dressed up in my And you're big on the smell. Okay, okay, okay. Run, 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 run. Come on, here we go, come on. Everybody, you can do it. Here we go. Hey, why take two when you can take three? Okay, boys. Up, up and run, and run. You're a total bullshitter, aren't you, Jack? So you're gonna fire me. What a perfect end to a perfect week. Are you kidding? I'm making you vice president in charge of sales. Would you repeat that? I'm making you vice president in charge of sales. I thought I was good, but boy, you're the best con man I've ever seen, and that makes for a great salesman. Congratulations, partner. Partner? Partner. I look forward to meeting your real wife and kids. Thank you very much. 
Hey, where are you going? Home. I'm hoping the flowers will help. If you don't hear from me by tomorrow, check my backyard for a fresh grave. Yeah, well, I hope you survive. And if you do, I want you back at work. What? Yeah. Charpel just made me vice president in charge of sales, and I'm putting you back on staff. Jack, how did... Yeah, I have no idea why either, but hey, I'm going to talk to him. <laughs> Jack! <laughs> If you or your wife ever need a manicure, I'll give you a deal. <laughs> Boy, I hope you're happy. Boy, I hope you're happy, too. By the way, Jack, I didn't have time to take my pictures out of your frames. Sorry. Dad, we couldn't watch TV. Yeah, it was just scenery and rain. I know what you mean. I'm so happy to see you. Listen, do me a favor. Go upstairs and fight over the remote, okay? Come on. So, were you a good boy? Did you stay on the couch and relax? Like a lump. Maybe I should take a week off more often. Yeah, but next time, I'm going with you. What did you do? Get the tattoo artist to come to the house? Check the clock when I got home and realized I was all 